Hi YouTube, this is Mrs. LaWanda D coming back. I just thought I'd give everyone an update on uh, how things were going. Uh, I ended up clipping my hair some more um, because I still had some ends doing some crazy things. And so I tried to trim it and even it out. It still looks a little funny in the back, but I guess it just has to grow. Um, I had to color my hair on Saturday because um, when I when I met my hair was long, I had fat streaks in it, and you know that looked good. All I had that for years, but when I cut my hair, I didn't. It, it was patches of gold, you know, or whatever color it was that I had used in my hair, and it did not look good. I called my mom, and she came over, you know, and I said, just tell me what you think, and she said, mm -mm, you cannot um, keep your hair like that. That does not look good. You got to have, you know, get it to one color, so we went ahead and went to the store, and I colored my hair on Saturday. And so it, it kind of, I had to make it lighter than my normal color to kind of even out the the color, um, the two colors and get a good balance. So I think it, you know, turned out good and I like it. So um, I'm loving my hair. I love, you know, putting my hands in it. It feels soft. It's just dry. I know a lot of women um, that did the big chop were saying that they, they just were having problems with it. their hair being dry and I had the same problem. And living here in uh, Central Florida doesn't help. It's hot already. We're already getting temperatures in the 90s, and it's, you know, April. So, um, I'm trying to deal with that. I've been watching some videos and decided um, to finally get the products I needed uh, to make my own hair products. Then I don't have to deal with the weed issue. So, I went to Natural 85 and got her, you know, some recipes and advice, and so I spent hours today on eBay trying to get the best deals, but I was able to find all of my essential oils and get them free shipping on almost everything I ordered and or a combined shipping, so I'll be making the shea buttercream and the flaxseed um, hair gel because um, the hair gel I use, it just dries my hair even more. And so um, what I've been trying to do, right now I just have it brushed um, and put a headband on because uh, I've been trying to twist it since I cut it every night, taking all this time to twist it and and it does not look right the next day, hair be all over the place. And so I just decided that the twisting is not working so I, I tried it again last night. And I was up till 3 in the morning because I forgot I needed to twist my hair. That's something I got to get used to, prepare my hair the day before, you know, the night before for the next day because I never did that when I relaxed my hair. I just got up in the morning, flat iron, and went. So, so that made me stay up to 3 in the morning trying to do that. And so the, the weird thing is my hair takes forever to dry now. Because when I took the twist out at about 11.30 this morning, my hair was still wet. <laughs> and uh, But it dried up, bone dried 10 minutes after I took it out. And it, it just, it was like crunchy and dry and awful. And um, so um, hopefully the products that I'm going to make will really help with that. Because, I, I, you know, it's, it feels soft. And then you touch it and you have oil, you know, moisturized on your hand. But your hair feel bone dry, so I want it to soften up a little, but it feels like it's, um, you know, it's starting to curl a little bit more, um, just but real tight curls, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm just going to be having tangled hair all the time, but whatever it is, I don't mind, um, because I'm staying natural, this is how I'm going to be forever more, and I'm glad with that. I'm taking control of my hair. So, um, but this is right now I'm doing the headband thing, which, which I found some headbands that don't make me want to scream. And I wish I had bigger earrings, but I don't. Uh, so I might have to accessorize a little bit. But uh, oh, and I also ordered the hair mud, so I can't wait for that to come in. And I was so glad that they had it in fragrance free. Uh, so and all the products are wheat free so that's the one thing I'll be buying 
to do my hair and so um I'm glad that the company did that but I, how about I show you my hair so that's the hair and hopefully the back doesn't look too bad I tried to brush it but it's doing its own thing back there <clears throat> but that's the hair with, with some color in it so I thought I'd show everybody how my hair is doing so far and um, other than the dry issue, I'm loving it. Um, my mom gave me a bunch of scars, so I'll try my scars and see if I like that. But um, uh, everybody told me I look younger with my hair cut short, and I, I take that as a compliment since I'm pushing up on 40. <laughs> I don't mind looking younger. Um, so, but I just keep everybody up to date. You probably won't hear from me for a while unless. You know, um, I get some some something great to do with my hair, and I want to share it. But right now, I can't even do nothing but with it, but um, pull it back. I mean, just brush it back. I mean, comb it back, and you know, leave it at that. And because it's saying, I don't know if it's just too short or or what. I don't know what's going on um, with it, but it's the twist don't don't look good. So I don't know if it's just me don't like how it looks, or I'm not doing something right, but. I'm just going to stick with this for now and maybe try to experiment. But thank you, everyone, for watching my video. I had a lot of people watch my Big Chop, so um, that made me feel good. And um, it's a journey that I'm enjoying, and I'm glad that others are taking the journey with me. So uh, that's all for today. Thank you.